Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be checking out a battery charger from Ampeak. Now it says right on the box that it has independent pulse desulfation, 8 stage charging program, battery recondition and winter mode. So let's go ahead and open it up and see what we got. Okay, let's open it up. Right on the top it looks like there is a, uh, a user manual. And we got the charger. And this charger is pretty small. I actually like that. Uh, it is a 15 amp peak charger uh, from Amp Peak. So uh, it looks like it can charge at 2 amps, 8 amps, and 15 amps. Uh, there are six individual buttons and then a start button right here. On this side, it looks like there's a vent. On the back is just the two cords, one for the uh, clamps and the other one for the AC. Here is just another vent hole. Uh, the bottom gives you warnings about how to not use it. And then the top has this small uh, fixed handle. The whole thing is made out of uh, like a plastic and it has little rubber feet at the bottom. So, uh, I mean, overall it is plastic. I wouldn't want to drop this, but the plastic does feel uh, durable. Okay, this battery does claim that it is a smart battery charger, but it also has all the options to be able to change those settings. So that's kind of nice. You're not stuck with the smartness of the charger. You can do a manual setting. But I want to test the smart feature. And it says that in able to use the smart feature, uh, you connect the charger to the battery and we're going to be using a 50 amp hour uh, lithium iron phosphate battery from Vetter. What you do is you, you, you clip it onto the battery and then you plug it in and it should automatically know what kind of battery it is and it will set it to a specific charging rate. So let's go ahead and do that and see what happens. Okay, also these, uh, these cables, the cord is, this is about, the clamps are about, uh, uh, they're about six feet and the AC power cord is about five feet. And I noticed right out of the box, these, uh, the, the clamps, they're really, look at that, they're really close together. So you'll probably want to hopefully just pull those apart a little bit. The clamps are made out of like a hard plastic. It feels like the same plastic that the unit's made out of. They are fairly strong, which is nice. They're, they're nice battery clamps. Um, Again, I always say this, I wish these clamps were made of like more of a rubber material and not this plastic because I would hate to, I would hate to drop one of these and have like, have the plastic chip off. Uh, I, I don't think rubber would do that. So, but I do notice that it, it is crimped on and then it's, it's uh, soldered on there for both, both sides. So the wiring does look pretty good, but I'm going to go ahead and just pull these apart a little bit. And the, Look at that, that's pretty easy. That way it gives me plenty of room to connect to my battery. While doing that, I wouldn't recommend pulling it from the actual clamps. Um, always pull from the wire. Okay, let's go ahead and connect these on and plug in the charger and see what it does. All right, right off the bat, I noticed that the screen is pretty dim. Okay, and it does say that it'll take about 30 seconds for it to figure it out. It shows that the battery voltage is right around 13 volts. It's a 12 volt battery. And now it says stage one. And it looks like it's up oh, there's stage two, soft, st soft start. Stage three, bulk charging. Stage four, absorption. And it looks like it's charging with 15.4 amps at 14.4 volts. And it says gel down here, which I'm surprised it says gel because it's not a gel battery. And now it's charging at 14.5. Okay, so that's definitely what it's charging at. It's charging at 14.4, 14.5. That's not the voltage of the battery. If I take the voltage of the battery, it is 13.4. Yeah, even if I take the voltage of the clamps, it's 13.5. But yeah, I don't like how it says gel there. So let's see if we can, if you can hit stop, you can hit, 
you can hit the start button and I think it stops everything. So let's just do that. There we go. Okay. All right, and it shows the battery voltage at 13.2 volts. Let's go ahead and check that. Yeah, my multimeter shows 13.16. So that is really close. So let's go ahead and change it from 15. Let's change it to two amps by pressing the amp button. Oh, that says auto. We'll change it to two amps. There we go. And it sounds like some sort of internal fan just kicked on. I don't, and then, yeah, the, the warm, there's warm air blowing out of it. So that's weird that it's, uh, it, the fan kicked on even though there's, there's no charge. It's not actively charging anything. Um, okay, so two amps. I want to change the battery type. So let's click on the battery button here. Oh wait, see it's starting up again. I want to no, stop. ST standard, AGM, deep cycle, calcium, lithium iron phosphate battery. The voltage you can select. This is either a six volt charger or 12 volt charger. It does not charge 24, 36, 48 volts, only six and 12. Winter mode, if you wanna go through all these buttons, uh, winter mode, all that does is it increases the amount of charging voltage by 0.2 volts. So it kind of, uh, uh, it gives it just that tiny bit of extra boost because your battery is cold. Pulse desulfation, um, what that does is it pulses a 15.8 volt charge into the battery to try to, uh, uh, it tries to restore idled, deeply discharged, or severely sulfated batteries. So that's more for your uh, sealed lead acid batteries. And then also reconditioning is the same. You, you don't want to use either of these buttons for lithium iron phosphate. Uh, this gives it a unique charge to recover deeply discharged batteries. Okay, we have the charger now charging at 2.4 amps. At 13.4 volts. So yeah, the, the voltage of the battery is 13.17 now. And the amperage, the amperage is 2.4. So the amperage on the display is dead on. Let's see if we can change the amperage while it's running. Uh, it doesn't look like it. It looks like you need to press the stop button and then change the amperage. We'll change it to eight. And it shows that little battery indicator right here. It says 87% state of charge. I don't know how it's getting that, but that's probably just based on the voltage of the battery, which you don't want to go by with lithium iron phosphate. And I do notice that it seems like the charger, as soon as you select something, you don't need to hit start. It just starts, starts doing what it's doing. So it goes through the stages that you need. And now it shows 13.9 volts charging at 8.5 amps. So let's check the amps. Uh, and my amp, uh, my clamp meter actually shows 8.15 amps going through. Yeah, it's staying right at 8.16, 0.17, something like that. But it's still over 8 amps. So it's weird how it's an 8 amp charger. It's actually charging at 8.1, 8.2, but it displays 8.5. So, uh, but at least you have a, a, a good estimate on there. And again, it just, it must be charging at 13.9, but it does say lithium. So that's, I wonder if that will go up. And I do notice that the fan does turn on intermittently. Um, it doesn't just stay on if you have it on a certain selection. It just turns on probably when it senses that the temperature is over a certain, uh, certain degree. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop this again. There we go shows zero amps. I'm going to change it to 15 and hit start. And if you do press start, it does, it does start the charging process immediately. And I noticed that in the lithium setting here, um, it shows that it's charging at 15 amps. Uh, and now it says 14.6 volts. So I understand that that's probably the charging voltage. But it's just kind of confusing if you're looking at it because it, it showed one voltage for one amp uh, rating. Uh, it showed another voltage for the 15. It showed something different for the two. So that's kind of confusing about how they're actually displaying that. Okay, well, I'm going to let it charge up this, uh, this 50 amp battery. And we're going to see what it looks like when it shows a full, uh, a full battery charge. 
and we're going to look at the voltage on the battery to make sure that it's full. Okay, well, I've been uh, charging up this 50 amp hour battery for, I don't know, 15 minutes or so now. I did notice that in the first 10 minutes or so, um, I started smelling kind of like a burning wire smell. I'm guessing that's just the initial uh, burn off of anything that's in the actual charger. So it's kind of starting to go away. So I'm not really concerned, but I wanted to get a thermal camera out to show you what the temperature is uh, inside of the unit right now and maybe like around the unit to see uh, what we're looking at. So here is what it looks like inside the unit. And you can see right there that uh, we're looking at almost 200 degrees. Yeah, it looks like it. Well, now it shows only 160. So let's kind of... Yeah, there we go. Way back in the back back there, though. 191. Let's look at the front. Oh. Oh, man. Okay. Bottom of the unit is 130 degrees. Yeah, and that's, uh, that's crazy. That's like 100 and, yeah, 100 degrees. So, I mean, it's just a little warm. It looks scary, but it's just a little warm. It's no big deal. But the bottom of the unit does get, uh, it, you know, it gets up there. Uh, the whole unit by, you know, in itself is staying relatively cool, you know, 90, 95 degrees. Uh, you know, the room temperature is around 70, you know, around 70 degrees. I mean, so this is about, 70 and you can actually see my hand prints so um but the unit itself is staying pretty pretty cool the um the fan has been staying on the entire time and it makes sense because that the inside the inside is reaching about 190 degrees so that kind of goes to show you um you know i'm i'm in a basement right now and it is you know it's lower than 70 degrees in this basement and the internal temperature of this thing is, you know, I saw 190 degrees in there. You know, just think if you're in your garage and it's already 100 degrees in your garage, I mean, it's going to be even warmer inside this unit. So you need to keep that into consideration. If you're gonna be, if you're gonna be using this unit to charge up a multi 100 amp hour, you know, like a 200 or 300 amp hour battery for some reason, you have to, keep in mind that uh, this thing's going to be running for a long time and it, it, there is a possibility you know that the fan could burn out and it can overheat you know i so what i what i guess i'm saying is don't use this in an environment where it's already hot and don't use this uh, on batteries that are just massive don't use it on a you know your 12 volt 600 amp hour bank that's not what this is made for this is made for 100 amp hour battery, probably at the most, I will be using it for my 50 amp hour batteries. Okay, I believe that this charger is just about done charging up this battery. Um, it does look like it does like an absorption kind of stage, which is kind of neat. Um, the amperage is slowly going down and the voltage is kind of calming down also. So the whole thing is just kind of calming down. This battery, this battery is at 14.29 volts. Uh, it still shows that it's 75% on this uh, on the screen. Okay, well this thing ticked down. Uh, while it was charging, I noticed that the charging voltage, it got all the way up to 14.9. And that kind of got me concerned. I was like, I was watching the voltage of the battery and make sure this thing wasn't going to try to overcharge it. Uh, but as it got closer to the end, the voltage started to drop, the charging voltage. And then the amperage started to drop and then everything dropped down basically to zero. It just shows that right there. It doesn't show that it's done or anything. It just says, it just shows that there's zero amps going into the battery and it shows the voltage of the battery. And I checked it and the voltage of the battery is correct on here. It is 14.1. So the charger did its job. The other thing that I, I wonder about is if this charger, um, if it can wake up a dead battery, if it can wake up a, uh, a sleeping um, lithium iron phosphate battery that's been fully discharged and the BMS has shut the battery down. Let's see if I connect this charger to a completely dead battery to see if it'll wake it up. All right, now I have an uh, ampere time 50 amp hour battery here that I have completely depleted. 
let me go ahead and show you the, uh, the voltage of the battery right now. And you can see that it shows 1.67 volts. So this battery is completely dead. So let's see if this charger will wake this battery back up. And right now I do have it plugged in and it says, please put the clamps on, is what it says on there. So let's see if it makes any difference if I put clamps on. Let's hit start. Yeah, uh, yeah this, this charger uh, is not doing anything different. It still thinks that there is not a battery connected at all. Okay, so what do I think of the Amp Peak Smart Battery Charger? Uh, well, it does everything that it claims to do. I do like the fact that it has an automatic charging setting, so you can just clamp it onto your battery, plug it in, and it will start charging. And then also the fact that you can manually change any of those settings uh, if need be. Uh, you can change any of the settings, I mean, and it also has a lot of options for your sealed lead acid batteries as well when it comes to, when it comes to the desulfation and the reconditioning of uh, sealed lead acid batteries. It can do it. Um, it's a smaller charger, so it, it will charge 6 volt batteries and 12 volts, so don't get this for your 24, 48 volt batteries. And the display is very, uh, it's very clear to read, I guess you could say. You know exactly what's going on. The things I, I don't like about it, uh, the display is real, it's kind of dim. Even though it's lit up, it's not very bright, so you kind of have to really angle it to see like what's going on. Also, I felt like it ran hot. Uh, this thing at one point was running almost 200 degrees uh, inside. And so, I mean, the whole thing, the whole thing wasn't burning hot or anything, but it was just warm in my opinion. Uh, you know, the, the air blowing out of there practically heated up this little room that I'm in. Just keep that in mind that this will run hot. And it, and the first 10 minutes or so, it will smell like uh, maybe like a little bit of burning wire, but that does go away. I ran this thing for a couple hours and it, uh, it stopped smelling after like the first 10 or 15 minutes. Um, the clamps, again, they're, they're pretty strong. I like how, how, how strong they are, but I wish they were kind of made out of that, uh, that rubbery uh, material and not made out of plastic. I always worry about you know, just dropping the clamp and it's sliding and hitting my concrete floor and it chipping off this plastic. So thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, if you have any questions about the Ampeak Smart Battery Charger, um, I'll have a link in the description. Uh, please post anything in the comment section if you have uh, questions. And uh, thank you so much and you all have a great day. Bye-bye.